Hello again. I'm going to give an overview of an accelerometer tester project for App Inventor today, which graphs acceleration forces on three different axes using the device's built-in accelerometer sensor. You'll see on this diagram how the accelerometer sensor consists of three sections that return values at 90 degrees offset from one another and are labeled XXL, YXL, and ZXL. Acceleration is a force that is exerted on the device when its speed is changing as it is moving in a specific direction or when affected by the force of gravity. This value is returned to the XXL, YXL, and ZXL properties in the units meters per second squared. I found several ex examples of apps that graph the X, Y, and Z values returned by the accelerometer sensor. App Inventor can do graphing of this kind easily and this project is a result. A special case of acceleration is the force of gravity which is about 9.8 meters per second squared at the Earth's surface. You can see evidence of this force by laying your device on a tabletop with the screen facing up and reading the ZXL value. If you were to pick up the device and keep it facing up, the ZXL value would become more positive briefly. This is the sensation that astronauts and cosmonauts feel when their rocket accelerates upward from the launch pad. If you dropped your device while it was facing up, its ZXL value would become close to zero, which would indicate a free fall. As an aside, hard drives on laptop computers may be equipped with an accelerometer, which parks the heads if the accelerometer value approaches zero when the laptop has been dropped. This prevents the hard drive from being damaged by the heads crashing into the platter of the drive. The graph below shows how each axis is affected by gravity starting with the device face up on a tabletop at the left side of the graph. The device is then rotated to the left until the left side is touching a tabletop, then rotated back to face up, resulting in the green trough you see here. Rotating right until the right side is touching the tabletop, then back to face up resulted in the green mound here. Rotating forward until the bottom of the device was touching the tabletop, then back to face up resulted in the red trough, which you see here. Rotating backward until the top of the device was touching the tabletop, then back to face up resulted in the red mound. This left, right, forward, and back motion was repeated three times to complete this entire graph. Here's a thought experiment. And if you're going to try this, you need to have a helper read the acceleration values and don't do this on a roadway. Imagine placing your device on the seat of a car with the top of the device facing forward in a big parking lot with no other cars around. The car is accelerated from a stop, then a certain speed maintained, followed by a left and a right turns, and finally coming to a stop. How would the XXL and YXL values change? Would the ZXL values be affected? These values are likely the part of the data collected by apps that monitor your driving habits and rate you on your skill and safety. You can probably imagine how jackrabbit starts and screeching stops and turns would affect your ratings. Okay, then let's look at how the app works. If you'd like to import the AIA file 
then continue with the video. You can find it at httptinyurl.com slash AI2 ACCELTEST2 and again that's tinyurl tinyurl.com slash AI2 ACCELTEST2 you can pause the video to do that now Okay, on to the Screen One Designer. There's a welcome message in the title bar and a goodbye button to close the app. You see that here. And my accelerometer sensor is included to test if the device has an accelerometer. That's here. My notifier will be used to alert the user if no accelerometer is present. Most devices have an accelerometer, but there might be a device attached to your TV perhaps that doesn't have that. The user can then press the goodbye button to close the app if no accelerometer is present. If the user return to this screen from another screen, a, a My Notifier will offer the choice to return to that screen or exit the app. Let's look at the Blocks window. Screen 1 initialized tests if the accelerometer sensor is available. If so, the graphing screen is open. Otherwise, the user is notified and can only press the OK button, then the Goodbye button to exit the app. If the user pressed the Back button on the graphing screen to get back to this screen 1, then the other screen close block will prompt to close the app. If the user chooses yes, then the app is closed, otherwise the graphing screen is reopened. Switching to the graphing screen designer window now. Let's look at the canvas which has a background image which shows five grid lines and a six at the bottom. These five grid lines represent acceleration values from minus 20 meters per second squared here to 20 meters per second squared. When the device is at rest facing up on a tabletop you should see the ZXL value being plotted near 9 or 10 on the app's graph. The XXL and YXL values would be near 0. The 6 line here contains dots if the device is shaken. There are three checkboxes to enable plotting of the acceleration values. The fourth checkbox check enables plotting dots when the device is shaken. Clock 1, well this was renamed to the plotting interval clock, is used to check the acceleration values and update the graph roughly every 250 milliseconds. And a separate accelerometer sensor shaking event block handles 
plotting dots when the device is shaken and that if it's shaken this text will change below shaking will change to yes. When the graph's lines reach the right side the canvas is cleared and plotting resumes on the left. Let's switch to the block <coughs> excuse me blocks window. Here you'll see four global variables are declared. Previous X Excel, previous Y Excel, and previous Z Excel contain the starting Y value for plotting each line segment that will be added to the graph. The X axis index contains the X position where the ending Y values for each line segment will be plotted. The Win Graphing Screen Initialized block stores the X, Y, and Z accelerometer values in Prev X Excel, Prev Y Excel, and Prev Z Excel. Then the Plotting Interval Clock is enabled to begin plotting line segments for each of these three acceleration values. Here. The Win Plotting Interval Clock Timer Block first checks if the X axis index has reached the right side of the graphing canvas here. Next, if the X, Y, and Z acceleration check boxes are checked, then one or more line segments will be plotted and the corresponding acceleration label values updated in the draw line segment procedure. The shared draw line segment procedure uses the canvas draw point and draw line blocks to plot each line segment in their respective colors. The adjust Y procedure is used to plot the Y values on the graph adjusting for a Y origin of 120, scaling the Y value to be four times the acceleration value and rounding that result to an integer value. If the device is shaken, the My Accelerometer Sensor Shaking Event block here is triggered resulting in a dot being placed on its corresponding graph line at the bottom of the graph at the current X axis index position and yes is displayed in the shaking label. The clear label clock re resets the shaking label text to a hyphen after two seconds have elapsed. Have elapsed. And that covers the operation of the accelerometer tester. You might consider improving the app by recording and storing data values for viewing and exporting. And you might use this project to aid in developing other apps that use the accelerometer sensor. And as always, happy inventoring. <laughs>